If you've been looking for some good lighting for creating video content, like on YouTube, and you searched best lighting for YouTube, a lot of the more popular options might already be priced out of your budget, particularly if you're just getting started and you don't know what to look for. That's why today I'm taking a look at this kit by Viltrox, which is roughly $300, and it's supposed to have everything you need to get started with a three-point lighting kit. The lights that are included in this kit are the Viltrox VL S192T LED panels. They're bicolor panels that will let you dim from 100% down to 20%. 20% is the minimum that these will go. The panels themselves aren't super bright, so 20% should be low enough to accomplish whatever you're trying to do. The build quality is all plastic. They are budget LED panels. They do feel a little bit more solid than the other budget options that I've used, but you can still tell they are a budget panel. The kit comes with the three lights, power supplies, three light stands, the carrying bag, a set of instructions, and that's all you get. It packs up pretty compact and here's a nice flat lay. You get three light stands, three lights, the remote, and the carrying bag. The diffusion is magnetic so you can remove it. So far it sounds like it's a pretty good deal, but let's do some tests. And action. Alright, so I've got myself lit up with a Viltrox light kit now, I've got the lights at 5600 Kelvin with 20% power. I set a custom white balance with a gray card on my camera. So this is the quality that you're getting just out of the box, not doing anything other than just turning them on. Because they're all on channel one, if I adjust the color temperature on the remote down to say 3300, which is the minimum that it'll go, it'll adjust the color temperature of all the lights. And same if we move it all the way back up. What I noticed while scrolling through the color temperature, if you go to 4400K on this light, it'll have all the LEDs, all the tungsten, and all the daylight ones turned on at the same time, so it will be twice as bright, especially if you're up at 100%. To get the most output out of these lights, you need to be at 4400 Kelvin. But I don't like 4400 Kelvin, so I'm gonna go back up to 5600 Kelvin, because that's where my white balance is set. And I'm gonna pump these up to 100% power, There, and at 100% power, you can see I'm definitely blown out further than I would be with my normal light setup. On a camera, that'll let me get up to roughly a 4.5, so if you have a cheap camera and just a big inner lens, you should still be able to use this light kit. But followers of my channel should know that brightness isn't everything. The color quality really matters. CRI, TLCI, all the special things. So we're going to measure it with the UPR Tech CV600. It looks like at 100% power, from one meter away, we're getting 508 lux. The CCT, or the color temperature, is 4265. So even though the color temperature was set to 5600 Kelvin, uh, I'm reading 42, 4300 Kelvin, but the CRI is coming in at 96 and the TLCI is at 98. So the color temperature reading isn't necessarily accurate, but the color quality is very high. And if we go take a look at the spectral readout, that's what that looks like. And finally, testing it for flicker, I'm going to set my camera to 24 frames per second and the light at its minimum setting. It passes the inspection, so you should be okay using this without worrying about flicker. If we wanted to do high frame rates, say 120 frames per second, looks like we should be good for that too. So let's do some B-roll. And it should go without saying, but this entire sequence is lit by the Viltrox kit I've been reviewing in this video. I shot the sequence at 120 frames per second at a 180 degree shutter angle. Oh, and knowing the color temperature is wrong on these lights, particularly up at 5600 Kelvin, is important. Because if you ever decide to get another light that is actually closer to 5600 Kelvin, like the Aperture 120D, they don't match very well. Because look, I look like a ghost now. You can also set your lights up in different groups individually at different color temperatures and percentages. So group one I have at 37% at 5600 Kelvin. I can turn that off and on and then switch over to group B, which I have at 3300 Kelvin at 20%. I can turn that one off and on individually as well. So you can have different groups and different color temperatures and you can turn them all off and on individually with the same remote, which is really handy. Are they the best lights ever? Not really. Um, the light stands have a little spring in there. Which is a little bit nicer than the super cheap ones you get off of Amazon. The color temperature is certainly off by a lot. If you want to film in daylight setting, you're actually at around 4400 Kelvin. 
that's really off. But even then, the TLCI and CRI is very high. So the color rendition you get, particularly if you're just using a little gray card there, you can set your white balance and that's not a problem. You'll have good looking footage, the LEDs work. You can also power the lights with Sony NP style batteries. I choose not to because then you would need six batteries to power all your lights. I just leave them plugged in. That's the Viltrox VLS192 three light kit. It's a pretty good value and yes, I can say I recommend it if you're just getting started. I wouldn't say that I wouldn't recommend picking them up if you're trying to pair some LED lights with some other already existing daylight temperature lights because again, these are going to be a little bit too warm for that. I couldn't find the three light kit anywhere except for Alibaba. I found the two light kit that has two of these lights, two light stands and the case and that one obviously is closer to $200. I'll have a link to that one in the description of this video. If you want the three light kit, you got to find it somewhere else. I, I haven't found it on Amazon yet. If I do find it, I will update the description of this video to contain that link. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, feel free to hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one.